I have been saving and investing a portion of my paycheck ever since I started working a nine to five job, which I guess would have been eight years ago. So the down payment definitely didn't happen overnight. To actually intentionally save for a trip that can just create so many beautiful memories is honestly priceless hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video we are talking all about my 2023 financial goals if you're new here hi my name is reza i talk all about personal finances so if you like the vibe and the energy around here then please make sure you're subscribed down below okay i have got my agenda here this is where i write my goals and then i also put them on my notion so i set seven financial goals for myself this year one of them is related to my small business which will be at the very end kicking off with my first financial goal this year i will grow my net worth to 200k by December 31st 2023 you will notice that the way that I've set up my goal will always start with I will and that's really intentional for me because having I will in the beginning means that you are going to achieve that as opposed to I think I will or I really want to so I will is definitely a very intentional part of my goal setting and then the goal itself so that is grow my net worth to 200k and then at the very end will also be a certain time frame i always just put the end of the month which is december 31st so that is how i usually frame my goals so talking about this specific goal i did not achieve this goal this year there has been a lot of changes in my finances this year that have prevented me from getting to this goal and the primary reason is we recently bought a condo which was not a goal of mine this year it was not even in the near horizon but due to certain circumstances we ended up buying a home and if you missed that video i will link it over here for you but i think the number right now is at around 150 so kind of close to 200 but we didn't get to that final number and i think that that is totally okay i think that setting goals is good because it gives you a direction of where you want to head towards but also being flexible in anything that might happen throughout the year because purchasing a home was not in my 2023 vision board but it was something that happened and i'm very very happy that it happened the way that it did but it definitely depleted my savings because i had to put down a down payment so i'm not mad that i didn't achieve this 200k goal it was kind of an arbitrary goal to be honest like it's more so about like growing your wealth than anything and i think that purchasing a home is a way to grow your wealth so that is goal number one goal number two is i will raise my salary to 130k by december 31st 2023 this specific goal is related to my nine to five job and there are ways for me to definitely influence this but there are also ways where it's kind of tied to the budget of the company and how the company is doing and if there's any movement in terms of budget and scope of work etc so i am happy to say that i actually got a pretty good raise during the midpoint of this year so i am that much closer to my 130k goal but i didn't hit 130k and again similar to the first goal i'm not really bummed about this i feel like i have reached a certain point in my salary where more isn't necessarily better if that makes sense because in the grander scheme of things in your paychecks it's not really going to matter that much it's probably going to increase by like 50 dollars if anything so that's just kind of how i'm feeling about it i'm really close to that number but again not really super bummed that i'm not at that number at this point in time there's always so many ways to grow your income whether it's continuing to grow within the company or finding other income streams whether it's a small business or a small side hustle like youtube but no i did not achieve my goal of 130k goal number three is i will have 20k in my emergency fund by december 31st 2023 i have touched my emergency fund quite a bit this year and for various different reasons the most recent one is our washer and dryer broke so we had to go replace it and that was around like twenty five hundred dollars that is definitely an emergency for me that i wouldn't have wanted to take out from my checking account so i needed to take it from my emergency fund and it was also very unexpected and there were a couple other things like we needed new winter tires for our car again that's a pretty big expense that i didn't really plan for so that is exactly what i used my emergency fund for so i really thought that i could hit 20k because in the beginning of the year i think i had around like fifteen thousand dollars i want to say and i kind of reverse engineered it that if i put down two hundred dollars bi-weekly every single paycheck I would hit 20k pretty seamlessly and i guess effortlessly but that's not the case because 
there were those moments that it w there was an emergency and they needed to take from my emergency fund and even though i was putting down 200 dollars bi-weekly it still didn't cover the money that i was taking out from it if that makes sense so i did not hit this goal i think i have less than 12k in that account right now but i will check I also recently moved my emergency fund into Wealth Simple because they do have a higher interest rate than any other bank right now. It's at 4%. So my emergency fund is sitting at $11,786. I have been really consistent with putting down $200 every single paycheck into that account, but I think I was just taking more money than what I was putting in. Goal number four is I will invest in travel and experiences this year. I definitely hit this goal, which I'm so, so proud of. I really prioritize saving up money to go travel to different places. One of the big trips that we had this year was going to Paris and Nice, and that was just such an amazing experience. And I think in the past, I would be someone who kind of just like kept the money and either saved it or invested it. but. To actually intentionally save for a trip that can just create so many beautiful memories is honestly priceless. I'm so happy that we did that this year and I know it's something that I'm going to continue on in the future. I'm already planning my 2024 trips for next year and I'm really excited. The next goal that I put in here and I'm not really sure if it actually belonged in here or it should have been in the personal goal section but I put, I will own a Cartier Tank Louis watch this year. I put this down in my wealth goal because it was something that obviously needed to be funded and putting it under the wealth category made sure that I was allocating money towards this watch. I did achieve this goal. I posted a video, which I will link over here for you guys of when I bought it, how I bought it, how much it was, etc. But yes, I am actually wearing it today. This is the watch it's the cartier tank louis i'm honestly obsessed with this watch i'm so glad i bought it it was worth the investment and i know it's something that i can pass down to my family and it can be a family heirloom in the future sixth goal that i have is i will continue to invest 200 dollars bi-weekly into the stock market despite the market fluctuations on a consistent basis i do put down 200 dollars every single paycheck into my wealth simple trading account and i buy one specific stock which i can put in the description down below if you are curious i buy one etf every single time and that works for me i try not to make my investing too complicated i invest into the s p 500 and the last goal that i want to talk about is actually related to my small business so what i said for my revenue goal for my small business is i will hit 100k in revenue by december 31st 2023 this was a very big goal that i was not sure if i was going to hit and i guess spoiler alert i haven't hit that goal but i got really close i actually initially put down 75k instead of 100k i'll show you the scratch that i put when i made that change so initially i put 75k as the goal but i changed it to 100k and the reason why is i had shared this goal with a couple of close friends and they were like why don't you just put down 100k and see if you could actually hit that goal and if you don't hit that goal and you make 75k then at least you hit your actual 75k goal so it was more so a like stretch goal for me but i was actually looking into my analytics on shopify and i am currently at i think eighty one thousand dollars in revenue for the line this year which is mind-blowing to me because last year we hit 50k and that was really crazy so it just goes to show that the energy that you put out there will always come back to you. I have put a lot of work into the line this year and all of the collaborations that I've done and just all the hard work I've done, I can actually see that it's paying off. I'm glad that I actually stretched it to 100K because I feel like if I just put 75K, I don't think I would have hit 80, 81,000 because my mindset would have just been like, oh, you already hit your goal. You don't need to go that much farther. but having 100k as like the direction that I wanted to go to allowed me to hit 75 and more if that makes sense so yeah I'm very very pleased with how the year has gone with the line and it's not over yet it is planner season right now so I know that this is one of the busiest time of the year for myself and my business and I'm excited to see what 2024 has in store for me and the line so that is it those are all of my goals that i had set in terms of wealth and finances i think that this was a really good year in terms of just finances in general 
obviously buying a place was a really big milestone for me and I'm so glad that I was able to make the down payment. But what I'll say is being consistent with saving and investing actually allowed me to be able to have that down payment. I have been saving and investing a portion of my paycheck ever since I started working a nine to five job, which I guess would have been eight years ago. So the down payment definitely didn't happen overnight. So that wraps up my 2023 financial goals. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I will be filming a 2024 financial goals video very soon that will come out in the new year. So please watch out for that. And wherever you are, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye guys.